Hello! Now if you're new to my channel, I make videos about Irish folklore, traditional storytelling, and occasionally about my fucked up eye. This is one of those videos, because it's time for... So I've learned a couple of things about keratoconus, the disease afflicting my eye recently, and I want to talk about them. Now one is that I've noticed things that can affect your eyesight affect your eyesight a lot more strongly when you have uh, effectively um, monocular vision, as I do at the moment. Did you know dehydration affects your eyesight? Because I didn't. But I have noticed that if I don't drink properly, uh, I can't see as well. It's very annoying. Uh, my eyesight is already minorly affected by my lack of binocular concordance. The binocular concordance is the fact that your brain overlays the image of both eyes over each other and takes the best aspects of both to get you the clearest image possible. So if you, you're only seeing through one eye, you have no binocular concordance. And so your vision will just be slightly less clear than it would be if you had two fully functioning eyes. So yeah, all of those things, they become more pronounced when you're only seeing through one eye. Which is frustrating, but interesting. And it's uh, given me another indicator of when I need to have a fucking drink, so that's useful at least. And the other thing I wanted to talk about is that I recently learned that people of various forms of neurodivergence um, are more inclined to develop keratoconus than the general population. Uh, studies on this go back as far as 1992. Uh, it was originally done on Down syndrome, but there have been subsequent studies uh, in regard to autism and in regard to learning disabilities in general and to neurodivergence, essentially. And it was found that basically people with these difficulties, with these disabilities, are more inclined to eye-rubbing behaviour, and eye-rubbing behaviour has been strongly linked to keratoconus. I assume it just kind of distends the shape of the cornea. I have been very inclined to rubbing my right eye for most of my life, especially as a child. Uh, this would usually due to be this would usually be due to things like sensory issues. Um, if I have a single hair on my face, that is much more of a problem for me than all of my hair. Um, if there is anything even tiny in my eye, if like even an eyelash is out of place, that is extremely intensely irritating, can even lead to panic attacks, um, that kind of thing. And even when I'm stretching, waking up in the morning, I quite heavily used to knead my fist into my right eye. Um, for some reason I don't really do it as much with my left eye, I never have. And that is probably why I'm having trouble with this eye, but not this eye. However, I, I also want to just not talk about, because it's not something that's really my place to, to discuss, but at least mention, that keratoconus is also more commonly diagnosed in black and brown populations than it is in the white population. In the white population it's considered quite rare. But forms of neurodivergence are also underdiagnosed in the black and brown population. So I have to wonder, maybe um, a solution, possibly, would be any black or brown family that has a history of keratoconus should be offered free assessments for the various forms of neurodivergence. Might be an idea, might be helpful, you know, might help address that disparity. Uh, as I said, this isn't really my place to discuss. Um, I would like to leave that discussion uh, for other creators. Speaking of other creators who would be more suitable, um, this is Dano My Life, whose name is appearing somewhere around here. Uh, go follow his channel. He is a black creator with Keratoconus. Um, he did a review of a game called um, Not For Viewing, 
I believe was what it was called. It looked really cool. I actually kind of want to play it. Uh, and it was a good review. So, yeah, go go subscribe to his channel. He talks about Carrot Conus quite a bit. He talks about his daily life. He talks about lots of things. Go subscribe to his channel. He's pretty cool. Hey, okay, bye.